Well, hello there. Welcome to the studio. So today I'm doing something with resin. I um, have a project that I've started where I did do uh, acrylic pour painting on what was the bottom of a drawer. I have left a space in it. I don't know if you can see this in the camera. We've got a straw stuck through a hole. Um, this is so it can be hung on the wall. And I'm going to cover this piece in resin. My husband needs a tray for his laptop when he's doing work from home sometimes. So that's what that is going to be. And if I have some resin left over, I may work on some coasters using some silicone molds. Now, you may have seen some of my other videos where I was doing jewelry from my paint drips. This time I'm going to use my leftover resin for some coasters, so stay tuned. So I'm going to get myself finished mixing up this uh, resin. I think it's just about ready. When I'm mixing my resin, I always look to make sure there's no more swirls. Sometimes there's some bubbles still left, but, but if you have a warm enough room and you can torch it from time to time as it's curing, at least over the first 30 minutes, it, it should get most of your bubbles out. So I'm gonna get started. Now a good bit of the time when I use resin, um, I will use a trowel or a putty knife to spread it. However, I have learned that I can feel the texture and know when it's spread evenly if I use my hands. So pardon my hands. It will make it a little bit more difficult to shut off my camera when I want it, but that's all right. Now you want to have a thick enough coat so that it doesn't give you dimples in the end. Now I might get some anyway because I do have some metallic paint. That will make me have to come back and do a second coat, but that's all right. We can do that. Just trying to get this together for my husband's birthday, which is coming up. Nice little gift. He can just pull out, stick his laptop on, and do his work from home. Now this straw that's sticking out of here is because there's a hole drilled in it so that it can be hung up if he needs to. Now, this isn't a canvas, this is a bottom of a drawer, so it's made out of pressed particle board. A little bit heavier. That's all right. In fact, I might make this one, if you make it really, the, the um, layer of resin really thin, you can have an on purpose uneven texture, because it'll take on the texture of your paints. But we'll see how this one spreads. All right, and then, so that's it. So this does not have any sides to cure. It's got these tiny little sides because it's particle board, but I'm really don't, I really don't care if those um, have a little bit of resin on them or a lot. It's all right. So thank you for watching. This is going to be a fun project. I'll show it to you when it is um, cured, cured and you can let me know what you think about it. So just another idea of what you can do with your paints and your resin. All right, so I did have a little bit of resin left over. So I poured some fun glue or glitter in with my resin mixture and I'm adding it to a mold that I have here. Now, I think it's going to be nice and sparkly. Now, I have a, a coaster that I did a couple days ago, and I didn't have very much resin, so you see it's not very deep. So I was thinking about making it a second layer by putting this on top of it. So we'll see how that works. Let's see, which side do I want up? So I'm going to put this side in, and that will rest right on top of that, and it will cure deep enough so i think that will be kind of cool i put a little bit of resin in this this is a cake or a cupcake pan and my husband is a robotics coach 
So I'm going to put one of these little robot stickers in there. Make a little charm for him for his birthday coming up. Just to go on his package. So the package that will include the uh, drawer that I had. So I want to choose a cute little robot. So this one's cool. So you see that one right there. Just going to stick it inside this heart mold. Right on top. And it may float to the top, but that's okay. And now it has a glue on it, so I don't know if I can look. It did it off my finger right? Okay. So I got it off my finger, but it's not in the center, so I'm going to move it over. All right. Put a tiny bit of resin right on the back of it. Just let that be a charm. So how you could make a, a charm or something like that when you're finished with your resin piece you can actually drill a hole in it so it can hang. All right and I still have resin so we're gonna go we're gonna go with another molders too. I'm gonna add my first layer. I should have just enough resin for this. It's going to end up being something really cool. So I'm going to put the shirt in. I'm facing it that direction. There's a little fedora hat. Let me just kind of have that off to the side. A little plane ticket. Flip flops. And some sunglasses. I'm going to not include the flowers. But I think the rest of it is just fabulous and appropriate. Okay, so that is in there. I'm going to go ahead and pour another layer of resin right on top till we have reached the limits of the mold. And let's see. Tiny bit more. And just like with the other robot, if there's anything that floats to a place you don't want it, you just take your stick and move it back. So this is uh, this. So these are these are going to be really cute. Now, if you want your items to be a certain place in your mold, you can actually do um, kind of what I did with this mold, is do one layer, let it let it cure, and then do the next layer. So, so this is how you just do some things with your leftover resin.